what's up you guys my name is Vivian from the paper letter blog today I'm doing two things I'm opening this Vlinders in your bag package and I'm going to show you a quick and easy gift bag tutorial for which you only need scissors and some adhesive uh, scissors adhesive and wrapping paper of course um, and then optional is a hole puncher and also optional is twine but i will show you everything at, in the second part of this video so if you're only here for the gift bag tutorial i will put a time timestamp up here somewhere i will put a timestamp up and then you can skip to that part if you don't want to see the unboxing of this hopefully amazing box of happiness okay let me go back um Vlinder Virginia bag is a dutch web shop where she sells only or mainly i should say mainly gift wrapping supplies which is an absolute dream because i have a little bit of an obsession with gift wrapping paper you guys may or may not know this and in her shop you can buy it uh, for a certain amount of meters so you don't have to buy the whole roll you can just buy oh my gosh you can just buy smaller uh, parts of the wrapping paper which is really really great if you have a paper addiction like i do because you get to pick a lot of different colors a lot of different things to make fun um, meal with and you don't have to uh have, you know you're not left with a dozen unfinished rolls of wrapping paper uh, which is mainly my boyfriend's uh, huge most uh, annoying part about me but okay the, here's what happened last time i did a po box opening video where i also opened a box from blenders in your bag and then we had the following arrangement i should say um i would receive a mystery box of products from her shop in exchange for a blog post so what i did is i took photos i wrote a blog post about it and i linked that to her web shop and then what I did is I also opened it on camera because honestly, unboxings are so much fun to do. And I know that a lot of people love watching unboxings. So I also did an unboxing then. And then she actually said that she really liked seeing the unboxing, seeing my response to everything. So she asked if I wanted to do something similar again. So again, I'm exchanging a blog post for products and then I uh, will of course and then the unboxing is kind of my spin on it the live unboxing uh, but I do not get paid for this uh, the only thing I do get was uh, shop credit I this time I got to pick the products I wanted myself so I got a bit of shop credit I also added a little bit of credit of my own because I simply couldn't choose I had too many products that I wanted so I added a little bit of um, my own funds uh, so this is partially gifted and partially bought, but everything I picked, I did pick myself. She didn't pay me to say anything or whatever. Uh, this is all things that I really, really like. And oh my gosh, because she's of course a gift wrapping web shop, she's going to wrap this really, really beautifully. Oh, one more side note is that I lifted my camera a little bit higher up. So I have a, um, you can see the legs here and i lifted it a little bit higher up but this is really really scary because it only just fits on my table and you're going to see the legs so i'm sorry but at least you get to see it from above um so we to start with the actual gift wrapping paper um uh, and i will roll them out a little bit so you guys can see and i think you will know from nearly every each and every one of them why i picked them because oh my gosh i will also link her shop in the description box down below if you want to check it out first of all this craft paper this is actually actually she has i think this design she has in a black and white version and a craft and kind of white version um, and i was actually doubting about which one i should get i also really really like the black and white one but i did already get a couple black and white designs and I, now that i see it in real life i'm so so happy i actually picked the craft and white because you guys know how obsessed i am with craft paper i use it all the time and i'm really really pleased with this so oh my god i also want to know by the way in the comment down below i also want to know which ones are your favorites which ones you like which ones you dislike and uh yeah which ones you would have picked out yourself then this is one of the black and white ones it's really simple and it kind of reminds me of those prints i have in flow magazine and in the flow book for paper lovers but i i really i like simplicity okay and i like floral prints so i picked this one 
Okay, now that I see it in real life, my first initial thought is it, it, it definitely needs some color. I'm really glad I picked this one in craft paper and white because I actually don't love this as much as I thought I would, but I did pick a couple of things that I will show you in after I show you the wrapping paper, which will really make this stand out a little bit more. And I definitely think that it is fun paper to wrap your presents in. It just needs like a, a very colorful ribbon or something like that to really bring out um, how special that actually is. This one, which is not craft paper, but it is kind of like a nude color. And it is again a very simple, but I have to admit looking at it, I picked mainly simple designs because that's just easier and more fun for me to use and really cool to combine with different things which i will show you in a second as well you're probably wondering what the heck i'm talking about it's mainly uh twine and stuff like that so this design i hope you can see is like i said kind of a nude color and then you have uh, these drawings in black so you have all of these vases with flowers on them and i saw this on her instagram before she even messaged me about working together again i saw this on her instagram and i was absolutely in love this is for some reason this i like a lot more than the white and black i don't know why but this is so calm and pretty and I cannot wait to do some collaging or something on top of this. That will definitely be fun. Noose just jumped in the box. Thank I don't know, I'm just obsessed with this paper. And uh, once again, it could of course use something colorful, but that is all going to be taken care of. Uh, first, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, the balloon I got in one of the PR books packages is actually still inflated. Okay, so I asked, I'm going to keep them uh, out of view for now, but I asked on Instagram which color I should get, light blue or the brick kind of color, which is kind of orangey. And actually, I'm not even kidding, around 80%, I'm not even kidding, 80% of the people voted for blue, but I actually wanted to get the brick color. So what did I do? I ended up getting them both because First of all, this design, I absolutely love it. I've said it with the previous three ones, but I love simple designs because you can do so many things with them. But okay, the, first of all, the blue, the baby blue would definitely be something I would normally pick because first of all, blue, baby blue is one of my favorite colors. My craft room is going to have nearly this color. I would, yes. Obviously, you guys voted for blue and it would have been my first choice as well. But I always get the blue ver version. I always get the green. I always get the same th stuff. So I thought instead of doing what I always do, I'm going to opt for the brick colored one, which is this beautiful kind of orange brownish and it's the same design, but just a different color. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go for the brick color. And then 80% of people voted for blue. So I figured, yeah, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna listen to myself or to someone else? And then I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna get them both because I will definitely be able to do some fun things with this. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, I got one of those temporary tattoos. It's already like half gone, but <laughs> no, it's not a real tattoo, sadly. But okay, I am absolutely in love with this. This might actually be mm, the favorite, my favorite thing I chose because I don't know, I also love them in combination for some reason. I'm just really, really obsessed with them. Also, by the way, these little, these little, like, they're almost like, what do you call this? Um, I don't know what this color is, but it's like these almost orange, uh, strings also really go well with these kind of more simple papers. So I just wanted to show you how I think this one piece of string already brings out the design a lot more. So that's just what I meant. It just needs something like a pop of color, but that is all good. Next up, I have, after this, I have two more wrapping papers. Wait, what is this? Oh, there's also something. Ah, okay. And it is kind of black and white, but this is more, it's almost brown because look, if you look at the colors compared to this, this is like bright white and then dark black. And this is more creamy white and some sort of almost brown. 
it's a little bit more calm than the previous one and this one is really really pretty and I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna love this one as well so as you can see it has not a floral design it's more like grass different types of grass and I think it's absolutely perfect for spring and I cannot wait to do stuff with this and what I would also really like to do is use this on front in the front of a flip book because how perfect is this as the background of something Absolutely obsessed with this. Uh, I was, I actually doubted. it. I took it out of my shopping cart and then I put it back in, but I'm really, really glad I put it back in because looking at it in real life, I actually think it's so pretty. And for some reason, I also really like it that it's not pitch black and bright white. It's just a little bit off colors and that makes it a lot more relaxed, relaxing to look at. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Then this one. Yeah, this is a smaller version, which is also really good for wrapping, uh, smaller presents or for, of course. The main thing I'm going to do with all of this is use it for a meal. So this will be perfect for making envelopes and for making smaller gift bags. But you guys can probably tell why I picked this design because it has flowers on it, has a lot of blue, some green, and even some orange, which I don't usually like. I'm actually not a fan of orange, but in this design, I don't even mind it. I actually quite like it. So this design, I don't know if I would use it for spring because the background is kind of dark, but this would be really, really fun. I don't know, for various things. So I probably mainly gift bags, um, but yeah, I really, really like this one. And it, it is a smaller design, but I can definitely work with that. And then the last piece of wrapping paper I picked is actually probably my favorite. Even though I don't usually pick yellow. I'm really weird. But okay, I picked this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. I forgot what this design is called. It is like these floral petals or leaves. I don't actually know. I've actually had a wax seal stamp design just like this in my shopping cart at AliExpress for so, so long. And I absolutely love it. This is perfect for spring. I love the colors. I love the... The cuteness of this design, I don't even know. This is so pretty. I cannot wait. And this would also be really, really fun for making envelopes again. I just immediately, I don't know if you guys have that, but whenever I have, I have something like paper in my hands, I immediately picture all of the things that would uh, work well for the product. So another one. And then there's something else in here this package and this little envelope. I think these might actually be, it says Asjeblieft and dankjewel, which means um, here you go, a thank you, which sounds really, really stupid um, in English, but I think this is just a little sample. These are little sticker flakes. Okay, you know, I definitely didn't order this because this says uh, teacher, my hero, and I don't have teachers anymore, but I probably can give that. So this one, a little heart, beautiful leopard. You are so loved. I actually think I might have ordered this or I took it out at the last moment. And then this one, which has love. I really like these. And that is also what I meant when I said some, some paper could use a pop of color, uh, but hopefully there will be more pops of color in here. Okay, so this I did not order, this I did order, and it says big things often have small beginnings. She has a lot of these stickers with uh, sayings on them, which is kind of cool, especially for mail again, but I don't want to tear this for like a birthday or something. And then this is um, elastic, elastic, how do you call that? Like elastic ribbon? I don't know. It's like a piece of elastic, which she uses to wrap presents. No, I don't want to tear it. I'm gonna have to tear it all. Here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Oh, the inside of this gift bag is golden, which is also really pretty. Oh, this one. This is so fun. When I saw this, I immediately knew I wanted to have some of that. This is actually craft ribbon. And I will have to zoom in, but it has little white designs of little birdies on here. I actually forgot a little bit about what I ordered. Oh yes, this is actually what I said, the elastic. Um, 
two pieces of elastic, one in like an orange copper color, which I think is so pretty. She also used that here. So you can use that to close gift bags or to wrap around letters or whatever. And then this I also quite like. This is like regular twine, but it's cobalt blue. A really, really pretty color blur, which I thought would match quite well with, for example, this one, as you can see. Goes perfectly together, but also this, quite like it. I could also pair it with that, but that's the same color, so that's kind of boring. Ma, I could make so many cool color combinations. And then this one, which is, I actually, these actually look really, really similar, I have to admit. But they are two different ones, I think. I think this one might be icy blue and this one is a longer one and this is sage green but now that i see them in real life you can barely tell the difference but this is sage green and it would also go really well with this one again i'm really obsessed with this color this one but also of this one oh i could actually match it with probably each and every one of the wrapping papers and then this one is like an icy blue i don't actually remember what she called it but again it would go with so many different colors something i ordered this is like a, a really really pretty gift tag it's quite sturdy it's like a chipboard and it is a dragonfly and it has like a mustard mustard yellow color which i again think will match a whole lot of the paper Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay, this is it. You can order stickers from her shop as well, as you can see. So this is one I ordered. I quite like, I really like the saying. It says, have a wonderful day. And it is, um, I don't know what you would call this color green, but it is quite a spring color in my opinion. It says, have a wonderful day. I think this is so cute. Also to combine with different wrapping papers, maybe the, this one goes really, really well together. Really pretty, have a wonderful day, big circle stickers. Then we have this one, you already saw it with the little minty hello on it. I just thought that was really cute, especially if you put it like on an envelope and then next to the address it says hello and then the name of the person. But it would also go quite well with, again, probably each one of the wrapping papers, except maybe these two. But these, yes, please. Then another circle sticker. Okay, yes, okay, I remember now. Because I also said I had this one in my shopping cart and then this one, but I thought they were kind of similar in message, so I opted for this one instead. This one says, you are so loved, and it is uh, gold foiled, and this one says, thanks for being you. Again, gold foiled, and I absolutely love these. I could also totally use these for closing envelopes as they're really big and pretty. Um, but I'm definitely going to use them in combination with these papers as well. They're a bit more orange than I thought, but these are <laughs> copper heart stickers. Okay, I, I don't know, I love, I love those kind of things. And these also match quite well with some of the items, I think. I actually did not think this through, but it does actually match quite well. So, with all of that aside, I'm now going to show you, finally, because probably some of you are only here for the gift bag tutorial. So I'm now finally going to show you how to make a simple gift tag, gift bag, sorry, simple gift bag with wrapping paper, scissors and some adhesive. I'm going to show you kind of the basics and then you can decide how big or how small you want to make it. I need to make some space for myself. Okay, okay, so I'm going to make a gift bag. Um, I, I eyeball this, okay? You can use a ruler if you want to be precise, but I simply eyeball it because it is really, really simple. Let me say that I would want a gift bag around this high and then around this big, plus minus. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit to that because you need to fold over the bottom. And then you might, if you wanna, okay, okay. I'm making this really, really hard, but you can do two things with your gift bag. I'm gonna, you can do two things with your gift bag. You can have a gift bag that is open at the top like this, or you can have a gift bag that folds. So if you want it folded, then you're going to add a little bit uh, of extra space on the top. If you don't want it folded, then you can just cut it with a little bit of extra space at the bottom, just for the bottom half. I'm not making a lot of sense. I will show you, okay? For me, it doesn't really matter how big the gift bag is going to be. 
uh, because I don't have a specific gift I want to put inside. But if you do have a specific gift, then what you want to do is you want to have that gift. Let's say this is your gift. You want to have that gift, have a little bit of extra space for closing the bottom and have a little bit of extra space for closing your top. So this would actually be kind of the right height. And then for the how wide you want it to be is you're going to do two times the width of the present. So let's say you want the gift bag to be this big, two times that, so one, two, and then probably one or two extra centimeters. So it would be this big. So we're going to cut until there. And then I will show you. Okay, should cut this in one go. Cut until there, and then. I really hope I can make it an easy tutorial, but it's way easier for me to actually show you than to explain it. So, this is going to be our gift bag, and then you of course want to check the print is on the right side up. Um, I might have to trim this again because I kind of messed it up at the end. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to find the middle. You're going to find the middle and carefully only pinch it. So don't fold it, only pinch it. So you're gonna pinch it, pinch, and why you pinch it is so that you can see where the middle is. So what you could also do is you could measure it with a ruler and then uh, find the middle and then use a pencil, but this is just way easier. Just fold it in half, carefully pinch it, and then you will see, ah, that's where the middle is. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fold your one flap, doesn't matter if you use right or left first, but you're going to use one flap and fold that just over the middle. So you have the middle there and then you're going to fold it a little bit further. There we go. And then you're going to take the other flap and you're going to fold it just over the other flap. So this is the other flap ends there. So I'm going to fold it until let's say there. And you can make it tighter or wider depending on how your what glue you're going to use for example if I would use a glue roller I might want to make it a little bit wider so that I can actually easily use the glue easily use the glue glue roller wow that word is really hard for me to pronounce so this is the the base of your um, gift bag and then what you're going to do going to want to do actually is to look at which which part of the wrapping paper which uh, looks nicer. So this one looks nicer, but it's not completely straight. This one is completely straight, but it has a little bit of a damaged uh, edges. So I'm just going to type, trim that down a centimeter to make it look pretty. To pick the, the, the flap that is prettiest to put that on top. And then you're going to fold it back and put glue on one side. So I'm going to use a glue roller, but seriously, you can use whatever you want. And you're going to glue it from the top all the way to the bottom. But using a, I do not actually recommend using one of those rollers because it's kind of messy, at least it's Okay, and then you're going to carefully uh, press it down and then you have completely closed, you have the base of your gift bag, yay! Then what you're gonna do is, uh, you're again gonna see if the print is upright. So this is my print, I want this to be the top. So I'm going to fold over the bottom, just carefully. You can make this as big as, or as small as you want. You can even put it halfway up if you think that's pretty, but I'm just going to take as minimal away from the gift bag as possible. And then I'm going to fold it over again, just because that looks prettier. See, so I could also fold it up only once, but then you're going to see that ugly white strip. I'm going to fold it over again just to make the bottom look nice and tight. And I'm actually going to use a glue pen for that because it, the glue roller is very messy and I, I want it to be kind of neat. First I'm going to glue it together and then carefully to try. Oh, this is always the hardest part to make it, to finish it off looking nice. So this is the bottom. So, now you've actually you now you actually have your gift bag and okay so I'm just gonna let that dry and then we're going to trim the top because as you can see it's kind of messy at the top we're going to carefully trim that so that it is even and now there are multiple ways you can finish off your gift bag because this in theory would be a gift bag as you can see you can open it 
you have to open it without letting this loose. Uh, you can open it, you can put it in your gift, which is a very crappy uh, roller, and um, you can close it any way you want. But I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can close this. So first of all, you could, of course, like this one, simply fold it over, just a small piece. I think I made mine a little bit uneven, but okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah, of course, like I said, like you could put a sticker here, even a wax seal, you could put washi tape, whatever, but one cool way you could also do is uh, use a hole punch and punch in two holes at the top. Once again, I'm just eyeballing this, so I might regret that in the end. Let's see, kind of, make sure they're kind of even on both sides, which probably will not work for me. It's kind of even. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. And then you're going to put in the gift. Let's pretend we're putting in a gift. Ta ta ta. We'll put in a sticker for a whatever reason. And then you're going to close it. And then you're going to grab twine or some of this elastic ribbon or some of this or or another ribbon or I don't know. Use anything you can find. Use some of this pretty. Oh, I might actually use that. I'm actually first going to have to make some tough decisions about which color. I'm really, really inching towards this because it's such a cool color. You could use a gift tag, would also be kind of cool. We could use blue. Okay, I'm just going to go with the orange for now. What you're going to do is you're going to put the twine or whatever else you have, put it through. You can now um, tie a knot or you can put it through multiple times. I've actually learned this from Wendy, which is which, who is one of my subscribers. She sent me some really cute gift bags with this exact, exact same way of uh, wrapping it. And then you could put this through as many times as you like, and then tie, make a nice little ribbon, and uh, voila! Wait, wait, wait! I said voila before I was actually done. That's not good. Okay, I didn't make a nice ribbon. Vivian, you're not good at this whole tutorial thing. Let me see. I'm just going to cut it up. And then you're going to make a nice ribbon. I'm not really good at making ribbons. And there you go. My ribbon is actually really, really ugly. But there you go. You can do many things. You could put a gift tag on this side uh, with the twine. You could put a gift tag on this side with the twine. You could do so many things. Um, I might actually, actually, I have something else to add. You might also add beads or uh, buttons to this little gift tag, gift bag, to the twine you use to clo close the gift bag. But there are many, many ways you can make this prettier, make this more fun. You might want to put the holes on the same level because I now do see that I made them kind of uh, uneven, but that's totally fine. And then you have your super easy, uh, any size gift bag. So I hope this made sense. I just want to let you know that you can make this any size you want. You can make this as big or as small as you want. You can close it any way you want. I'm really good at this explaining thing, but I just wanted to show you this really, really simple way of making a cute little gift bag. Um, you could, by the way, also put the ribbon on the back. That I mean, the bow on the back. That would also look kind of cute. Um, but you can make this any size you want, any shape. Probably you can close it any way you want, and you can fill it with anything you want. So. I really hope this tutorial has given you some inspiration. I actually quite like how this turned out, so I'm definitely going to use it for some subscriber mail. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you have any more fun ideas or, or things um, I could add. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye-bye.